Hey everyone, my name is Yoshi, and welcome to another Super Mario Sunshine Any% percent. Well, this could be used in a lot more places than Any% percent, But, uh, Super Mario Sunshine tutorial So, uh, this is gonna be a quick one And I haven't done one of these in a long time But, uh, this is something that a lot of people have been asking for in, in, When I do Sunshine Runs and do it When, uh, my friends do Sunshine Runs and do it When I just, I'm watching someone like Diddy or something Uh, they ask how to do it, and so there's not really a tutorial about uh, out there on how to do this right now So I figured out I'd, I'd make one just because it's really easy and uh, If you can read up uh, up there It's uh, it's the rocket storage glitch, which I'll go ahead and do right now I'm only gonna charge it like twice and then uh, and then I will explain how to do it. All right Whee! So that's what we're going to be focusing on, and this has many uses uh, throughout throughout multiple categories. Uh, I believe people use it to get to the cloud in Pianta Aiden in some categories. Uh, you can use it to skip the auto scroller section of the Sandbird in some categories. Uh, all categories, you use it in Corona Mountain to uh, skip the clouds, and so that's what most people ask uh, ask to do it with. Plus, there's some fun stuff you can do in the plaza that I'll probably show off later, just at the end of the video, just because they're fun. But, uh, in order to do this, you need a rocket nozzle, quite obviously, so go to wherever you want to do it, grab your rocket nozzle, find a ledge, and I'm actually going to do this, uh, over here, because you can charge it infinitely without running out of water if you do it, uh, next to the spout. So, first things first, have the squirt nozzle out, and press L, and that'll put you in sidestep mode, so you can, you can go ahead and sidestep. And then, still holding L, you want to press X to switch to the rocket nozzle, and you'll still be in sidestep mode. That's not gonna change. Whoa, camera, hello there. Uh, let me bring the camera back to, back to normal there. And then, press X to do that. And then you want to hold R down until just before it clicks, but don't actually let it click. So, uh, just before it clicks. And then, you want the meter to be just in between the top of the tank and the top of the actual meter and then when it's there you let go of L and let the rocket actually fire off so let go of L and there it is and there you go you have a rocket stored and then to do it again all you do is switch nozzles again press L again switch back to the rocket nozzle and then let go of L there again and you do that as many times as uh, as you want to store it and then when you're ready, just walk off the edge and boom, you're up in the air and it's all fine and good. And then a lot of a fun game to play when you do this in the plaza is just to see if you can land in a pipe. But I'm not going to try to land in a pipe because there's a much, much more fun thing in the plaza that I want to show that you can do with this. Uh, which is over here. I probably shouldn't have charged as many times as I did just because I want to quickly show this off. But whatever. I'm gonna land relatively quickly anyway. I can actually do that to speed up the prop. Well, this is what I was gonna show. Uh, you can get the box game in the air. That's what I was going to show. Uh, but I'm gonna show how to do that without just getting lucky and landing there. So you want you just want to do the rocket storage glitch right here. That's that's really it. Just do it here and then charge it twice. Walk off. Hold left. There you go. Here. You're up in the air with uh, with boxing. It's it's fully playable too. You can go ahead and I'm um, so used to doing this with hover, hover nozzles. It's probably gonna suck. Oh, yeah, no, dude. All right. I'm also trying to keep the controller in a place where you guys can see it, which is a very unnatural way to hold the controller. So sorry if at any point in time I deviated to holding the controller like this or something like that, or like in the middle or something like that but you can still see the buttons anyway but yeah it's the box game is in the air you can also do that with the raccoons over in the boathouse but it's a little bit harder and yeah there you go that's that is how you do the rocket storage glitch it's super easy super duper easy uh and it's just something a lot of people have been asking since it was found i don't know two three weeks ago something like that so yeah that's that's how you would do that Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped. If you enjoyed it, uh, be sure to leave a like, a comment, maybe a favorite. And if you really enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. If you haven't already, 
It helps me a lot. And I will see you guys in whatever the fuck else I decide to make. <laughs> Alright. Bye.